I hope all of you are doing fine and all right. Stay at home may be difficult for some of us with a lot of people at home with so much distraction. So sometimes this is when A and C comes into place for that second of peace that you crave, right? Okay, that was a very, very silly joke. Bad joke, Mindy. And I have used this for exclusively a week. And here is my real, real, real in-depth review. So, I know that this may be an unpopular opinion, but I find that this pair of Sony WF-1000 Xbox 3s just isn't all that great. There are so many, so many great reviews about how great this is and everything. I mean, I watch those reviews as well, I read the comments, and everyone has been saying, oh, this is really great, this is really great, this is really great, but I have issues with this pair of Sony earbuds, WF-1000 Xbox 3s. Let's go into the details. What I currently have is this pair of AirPods and this obviously sounds much greater than the AirPods. Also because it's a Sony product, you can control all of the bass and travel all in the Sony app. So that is pretty neat as well. But this is just not as loud as the pair of AirPods that I have. And one other thing I find is that it may just be me, obviously, but I find that when this pair of earbuds is connected to my phone, the audio is much better as compared to when this is connected to my computer. This pair of Sony's does really, really good noise cancellation. So, because I can't really go out because of the situation right now, the coronavirus, please don't go out. I have to test it with my home pod right here. So basically I played soundtracks of babies crying, cafe ambience, as well as the annoying airplane ambient sound on the home pod at 100% volume and I put this on. Whoa. Wow. Okay. I can definitely hear outside noise but it's not that bad. We're gonna try cafe. Whew, okay. ANC is good. ANC is really good. Really, really good. I like it. Baby crying. Oof, yikes. That's way too loud. And yes, with music on, I could barely hear the outside sounds that was being played on the home pod. 100% volume is really loud, guys. Don't ever do that to your ears. Unless you want to. I mean, it's your choice, right? If you want to destroy your ears. However, my issue with this is that in order to get good A and C, you actually need to make sure that the earbuds are properly sealing your ears. And this means that you actually got to press them in or like squeeze it in a way that you know it properly fits your ears. And this actually brings me to my next point, comfort. This comfort wise is just not my cup of tea. It's heavier than what I'm used to on the AirPods. So they fall out easily. I really do need to squeeze it tight and find the right fit in order to get a proper seal. But the thing is, it gets painful when I squeeze it and you know, I think that sometimes we get used to pain and everything but no, when I wear this for long periods of time, my ears get tired and that is one of the reasons why I don't really like to wear this pair of earbuds that much. So yes, comfort is the biggest reason why I'm not a big fan of this pair of earbuds. It just doesn't fit my ear nearly as well as how the AirPods fit. But this is just my personal preference. It may not apply to you because everyone has different ear shapes and sizes. Another thing that I really love about this pair of Sony earbuds is that when I take them off, music stops playing immediately. I love that. This pair of earbuds has so many more touch gestures as compared to the AirPods. I love that, but the thing is there is a learning curve to it. For me, I had to read the instructions a couple of times, test it out a couple of times before I know like, oh, okay, this is to skip tracks. Oh, okay, this is to go back to the previous tracks. I actually turned off the adaptive sound control because it was not accurate. With the adaptive sound control, it will adapt to when you're standing still or when you're walking on the road so that it helps you automatically switch between ambient mode and with ANC turned on. 
But the thing is, I'm at home most of the time, so when I'm standing still, it just turns on ambience mode like randomly and I just hear all the noise around me, so it gets very annoying. So the Bluetooth connection when I'm using a computer to pair with this is actually really, really, really bad. So the connection of these actually drops four to five times in a single use. So I probably use this for like six hours straight to edit videos um, without charging. It actually tells you that, oh, you have just disconnected from your computer. So that was kind of annoying, especially when you're editing halfway and the, the, the sound just goes off. I'm not sure if this guy is just faulty, but I hope not. Next, I want to talk about is audio lag. Unfortunately, with this pair of Sony WF-1000X Mark III's, I did notice significant audio lag, especially when I was watching movies on the computer. So next, battery life. I did get the 6 hours worth of battery life on both earbuds. Thing is, you can't check the battery life while it is charging in its case. So yes, it is very very difficult to check the battery life on this pair of Sony earbuds. Literally have to take it out of the case, put it in your ears so that it turns on and go onto the Sony app in order to check whether it's charged. But the thing is, you can't exactly monitor the battery life of this while it's charging. What you have to do is to put your Sony earbuds back into the case and take them out again in order to check the battery life of the case. Okay, maybe I'm just taking it for granted that you can check the AirPods battery life and case battery life on your iPhone or on your computer without like much connection, but like it just doesn't work for this pair of earbuds and case. And another issue that I have with charging is that these do not charge up uniformly. This guy goes up to 100% first, the right ears, and this would still be stuck at maybe 30% or 50%, so you really have to wait for both of them to charge up fully, and it does feature fast charge, although cannot really attest to the fast charging feature. I always have to take them out in order to check the battery life and then put them in again if it's not sufficient and then take them out again to check. So it's like, even like talking about it now, I feel like it's so much, there's just so much inconvenience. I, I'm not trying to shame Sony's. I really like this piece of tech. It's so beautiful. It's like so nice. But like, I can't help but to compare it with what I have used before, which is the AirPods. And so this brings me to the last thing that I discovered. And you may not even care about it, but the thing is, you cannot sleep with this pair of Sony earbuds. One thing that I really liked about the Sony WH-1000X Mark III is like how comfortable it feels and how nice you know to be like in your own world with the noise cancellation. So I thought that you know with a smaller earbuds and like something that's so portable, so small, like you can put it in your ears and you can enjoy the noise cancellation all you like in your slumber, in your sleep. But unfortunately, because of like how big it is and like how much it protrudes out, when I like lie on one side, it is actually kind of painful or like it actually intrudes my sleep. So yep, nope, it's not comfortable at all to sleep with it. Repeat, not comfortable at all. Don't even try it. Yeah, and you may not even care about it, but I do. So if you guys do, comment below. <laughs> So overall, I find that this pair of earbuds is really, 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 really good if you prioritize sound quality as well as portability as well as like A and C like all in one package. But if you're going to use this for editing on your computer or watching shows, I would say that this may not be a really, really good recommendation. I mean, I would see why people like this. Um, it's just that this just doesn't fit me as well. Um, yeah, so fit may also be a personal problem, my personal problem, but everyone has their own different unique uh, ear shape and size, so please go test them out for yourself in your local stores. When the situation is not as crazy, don't go now because like social distancing and you know, um, cleanliness, don't, don't do that right now. Don't do that. Some of the companies, some of the retail stores do have like return policies that you can make use of. So if you can, you can just buy it and return it. And before you guys go, I will actually be comparing this, this, and this in my next video. So stay tuned and subscribe if you are interested in stuff like that. But for now, that is it. I hope this was helpful if anything. And yeah, take care guys. Stay minty and cheery. Goodbye for now. Bye. So how
ever just oh crap with the earbuds earbuds we love about this pair of earbuds earbuds this pair of earbuds earbuds unfortunately with this pair of sony buds the naming to put your airpods take it out and put it back in take it out and put it back in 